end at this moment in hockey history. The Nashville Purs currently find themselves in fourth place in the Central Division after 75 games played. They have a record of 43, 28, and 4, 90 points. Has the Nashville Predators six points shy of a third place in automatic qualifying playoff berth in the Central Division and also six points ahead of the nearest teams below them in the standings, which would be their next opponent, the St. Louis Blues. Before we get into the St. Louis Blues matchup, though, Let's finish talking about the Predators and get the standings update. Predators on home ice, which is where their next game will take place. A record of 21, 16, and 1. The Predators scored 244 goals. They've given up 228. Goal differential down quite a bit over the last week. Now plus 16 on the season. Now for the Nashville Predators, we are right at the end of the season. So let's talk about the updated standings in the division. The Dallas Stars have clinched their playoff berth. They are in first place with 103 points. The Colorado Avalanche have also clinched their playoff berth. Second place with 100 points. The Winnipeg Jets are in third place with 96 points. All three of those teams have played in 75 games. And unless something kind of wild happens over the last couple of games of the season, it will be these three teams fighting it out for the final and top spot and seedings. Right now, it certainly looks like the Dallas Stars have the opportunity in the inside edge to winning the Central Division, setting up a Colorado-Winnipeg series. In the first round. Now the Nashville Purs are in fourth place in the Central Division, just on the outside of the automatic qualifying berths, looking in, but well in control in the wild card situation. Update that after the division. Preds have 90 points. They are four, six points ahead of the St. Louis Blues in sixth place. Minnesota Wilder in seventh place, not eliminated yet at 81 points, but essentially are out of it at this point in time, unless they have a miracle. The Arizona Coyotes, Chicago Blackhawks are both eliminated from playoff contention. They will continue to play their schedule, but their season is over. In the wild card race, the Nashville Predators have 90 points and control wild card one spot, but the LA Kings are creeping up rather quickly now. The LA Kings in the second wild card spot have 89 points. The St. Louis Blues, the first team on the outside, looking in at 84 points, then Minnesota at 81. A couple other teams not yet eliminated, but that will probably start happening as of tonight's action after the Nashville Predators take on the St. Louis Blues. So for the Nashville Predators, just a one point cushion over the second wild card spot but a six point cushion and a chance to extend that and pretty much put the St. Louis Blues season to rest so let's talk about what's coming up for this Nashville Predators team it is a very short schedule remaining on the season after this game against the Blues the Preds will be in the Long Island on Saturday take on the Islanders, and then Sunday in New Jersey to take on the Devils. Tuesday, back home versus Winnipeg, and then on the 12th of April at Chicago, the 13th of April, back home versus Columbus Blue Jackets. That's the final home game of the season. On the 15th of April at the Pittsburgh Penguins, that is the final game of the season. Now, for the Preds and the St. Louis Blues, this is the third and final regular season meeting between the Central Division rivals. First time they played was back on 11-24, November the 24th. It was the Preds scoring an 8-3 victory, one of the Preds' more impressive victories of the year. Lankanen picked up the win going 36 out of 39. It was Forsberg and Evangelista each with two goals. O'Reilly, Sherwood, and Stastny also chipped in with goals in that game. Jordan Bennington took the loss, was pulled during that game, only went 16 out of 20. The Predators also scored a victory on February the 17th, also in St. Louis, this time 5-2. to two. Soros got the victory in that one, 35 out of 37. Evangelista and Forsberg, O'Reilly, Sissons, and Shen were your goal scorers, so five different goal scorers for the National Purs. Bennington, 28 out of 32. He took the loss. He's The National Purs are 2-0 and on the season, 4 out of 4 points, outscored the Blues 13-5 at this point, and it would behoove them to go ahead and sweep the regular season series, coming up in this third and final game. Now, for the St. Louis Blues, the National Predators' next opponent, they've also skated in 75 games this season. They have a record of 40, 31, and 484 points. Has them six points behind the Nashville Predators, three points behind the LA Kings for the final wild card playoff spot. The Blues on the road are 17, 18, and 2. They've scored 216 goals. They've given up 226 against. It's a goal differential of minus 10. In their most recent stretch of play, their last five on the 23rd of March, was a 5-4 overtime win 
win at Minnesota on the 25th of March, a 2-1 to overtime loss versus Vegas on the 28th of March, a 5-3 to win versus the Calgary Flames on the 30th of March, a 4-0 loss versus San Jose, and most recently on April 1st, a 3-2 to overtime win versus the Edmonton Oilers, Bennington picking up the victory in that game, going 36 out of 38. Let's talk about the rankings and the numbers in between the two teams in this matchup. The Nashville Predators goals four per game, 3.23 is 12th best in the NHL. The St. Louis Blues 2.83 is 26th in the NHL. In the goals against category, the Predators 3.04. That is 16th best in the National Hockey League. Goals against four the St. Louis Blues, three per game is 15th. Shots for 31.7 is 10th. 28.6 for St. Louis is 24th. Shots against for the National First, 30.4 per game is 20th in the NHL. And shots against for St. Louis is 32.3. That is 25th overall in the league. When it comes to special teams, the Nashville Predators, one of the few teams they are ahead of in the league on the power play. 20.2% conversion rate is 20th overall. 50 conversions, 248 opportunities. The St. Louis Blues are at 17.6% conversion rate, 25th overall in the NHL. 40 out of 227 opportunities. On the penalty kill, it is the St. Louis Blues, though, with the much better metric in this category. 16th best kill rate in the league, 79.4%. 40 power play goals against, but catch this number, 11 shorthanded goals on the season for St. Louis. That is fourth best in the NHL. On the penalty kill, the National per 76.6% kill rate, 26th overall in the NHL, 53 power play goals on the season. When it comes to the individual statistics for these teams, let's start with the Nashville Predators. No changes after the Boston Bruins game. 41 goals for Philip Forsberg, 43 assists, 84 points total. Roman Yossi has 19 and 57 for 76. Nyquist, 22 goals and 46 assists for 68 points. Ryan O'Reilly's at 25 goals and 36 points for 61 points. Uh, Tommy Novak, 15 goals, 25 assists for 40 points overall in the season. Over on the St. Louis Blues side of things, it is Thomas at 23 and 51 for 74 points on the season, leading the Blues. Bukanevich is 26 goals and 32 assists for 58 points. Kairou, 25 goals, 20, 33 assists for 58 points. Saad, 25 and 14 for 39. And Shen, yes, the other Shen, 17 goals, 22 assists for 39 points. And Spinnington in net, anticipated to get the start, 27, 19 and 4 on the season. 9-1-3 save percentage, 2.82 goals against average with three shutouts. You see Soros, 32-23-4 for the Nashville Furs, 9-0-7 save percentage, 2.81 goals against average, also with three shutouts. It's a pivotal and important game. The St. Louis Blues season is on the line. They are very close to getting eliminated. The Nashville Purs looking to secure and take care of finalizing that playoff spot and clinching their playoff berth. They won't be able to do that tonight, but they can go a long way towards getting there against the St. Louis Blues team with a regulation victory. That would also mean sweeping the regular season series against their division rival. That's got you all set up for the Preds and the Blues. Let's go back and talk about the Preds and the Bruins at Bridgestone Arena. It's called the Rebirth Sports Full Game Recap, and it's coming up next. 